The past is not what it seems. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 frozen theories that might be true. We have always feared Elsa's powers were too much for this world. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Ring the bell. For this list, we're taking a deep dive into the official and teaser trailers of the much-anticipated Frozen sequel, and trying to break the ice on potential plot elements, character storylines, and visuals. I'm ready. Here, I'm dusting off the Elsa costumes right now. <laughs> Number 10 climate change will play a role. It seems a little on the nose, but hear us out. This wouldn't be the first time Disney tried to present a cautionary tale through the lens of fantasy. 2008's WALL-E is over a decade old, yet presents a future that seems more and more plausible, where the Earth is unfit for human inhabitants, and comfort and convenience have left the population complacent and lazy. By and large, everything you need to be happy. Your day is very important to us. Given that we see some figures made out of the elements in the latest Frozen trailer, and they look quite hostile, perhaps they're rebelling against the humankind that seems to take them for granted. <laughs> It'd be quite the switch up to cast our heroes, and even us, in the villain role, as those who don't do enough to care for the world around us. Number 9. Connections to Rapunzel Now this one is partly us wanting all Disney movies to be connected, but here are the facts. Rapunzel and Eugene made a small cameo before Elsa's coronation, which means that Arendelle and Corona are at least friendly. For the first time in forever, I'm getting I'm dreaming of. Also, both worlds have magical elements where our heroines are born with abilities. Perhaps Elsa's understanding of where her powers come from leads her to consult her relatives. Maybe like a cousin from a neighboring kingdom. It doesn't just glow. There's also the very popular theory that Elsa and Anna's parents were on their way to Raps and Eugene's wedding when they met their unfortunate fate, but didn't in fact die, instead landing on shore with a newborn son who turned out to be the king of the jungle. Yeah, okay, Tarzan's probably not Anna and Elsa's little brother, but we can dream. Number 8. The Trolls Are Villains Because I love you, Anna. I insist you run. I understand your love, experts. Ooh. Why aren't you running? Call us skeptics, but there's something those trolls aren't telling us. At the outset, we see that the trolls have incredible power and are able to manipulate and alter people's minds. Not to mention the fact we're pretty sure they kidnapped Kristoff and Sven. Cuties. I'm gonna keep you. Should we not be questioning whether they altered other characters' minds? The head can be persuaded. Reddit user G Marquez P brought up that perhaps Hans, the big bad of 2013's Frozen, might not have been acting of his own accord. During Fixer Upper, the trolls decide that Kristoff and Anna should be together, so they opt to get the fiance out of the way. The fiance out of the way, and the whole thing will be fixed. Uh, red flag. But think about it. Hans seemed quite taken with Anna after their first meeting when he had no one around he needed to fool, and was pretty heroic until after Fixer Upper. I, on the other hand, am the hero who was going to save Arendelle from destruction. Number 7. Prince Hans's Return Speaking of the Prince of the Southern Isles, Santino Fontana is confirmed to be back to lend his voice in the sequel, so we'll be seeing Hans again. Oh, thank goodness. It would be awfully disappointing to either bring Hans back for a short scene or to see him back to his old ways since we've seen that before. It'd be quite the shift for Disney to give a villain a redemption arc, especially because of their dependence on surprise villains as of late. Maybe on their quest north, Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven have to take a detour to Hans's kingdom, and he ends up helping them. Glad I caught you. You know what? Just give Santino another song and we'll be happy. Life can be so much more with you, with you. Number 6. A Wedding Even though Hans turned out to not be Anna's happily ever after, she and Kristoff have been going strong every time we've seen them since 2013. I could kiss you. <laughs> uh, I could. I mean, I'd like to. I May I? We me? I mean, may we? Wait, what? We may. Maybe a nice way to cap off the second film would be a big wedding for the two of them. I love you, baby. Everything you want to watch, and all that you do. 
I do. Just think of the dress. The last animated Disney wedding we got was Rapunzel and Eugene's, so it's high time we got another one. With Sven as best man, or reindeer, and Elsa as maid of honor, and Olaf as officiant, because of course he would be, it would be the stuff of dreams. You're a princess, you don't have to settle. Number 5. Spring Sister Frozen was devoted to Elsa's journey of self-acceptance, so it's time our girl Anna got her day in the sun. Wow, am I so ready for this change? We've learned not to assume anything in a Disney movie, and that means we shouldn't rule out the possibility that both sisters have elemental abilities. Snow. It had to be Snow. She couldn't have had tropical magic that covered the fjords in white sand and warm... Fire! <laughs> Anna's color palette has always been warmer than her sister's, and the theme of her thawing at the first film's climax makes us think Anna could have spring abilities that haven't been discovered yet. Some theorize that Frozen will turn into a quadrilogy, with each film covering a season. With the 2019 follow-up looking to be fall, maybe it will end on the cliffhanger that Anna can control spring. But let's be honest, if there's one character who clearly embodies summer, it's Olaf. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer! <laughs> Number 4. The identity of the girl in the teaser trailer. Just because she didn't make an appearance in the June trailer doesn't mean we've forgotten about her. The internet has been clamoring for Elsa to get a girlfriend, and the second this girl appeared on screen, many thought she could be her love interest. She does seem quite young though, so theories suggest it's either a flashback sequence of Anna and Elsa's parents, with the possibility of their mother having wind abilities, or that it's Anna and Kristoff's daughter and son in the future. Perhaps, however, she's not a blood relation of our characters at all, and is instead the new villain. Imagine a face-off of wind, fall, and ice winter. Number 3. Anna and Elsa's parents are alive. See you in two weeks. Do you have to go? You'll be fine, Elsa. You heard Grandpappy. Now we have to question everything. Elsa, the past is not what it seems. In the official trailer, Elsa and Anna's mother is staring at the Aurora Borealis. Both her and young Elsa are wearing the same ensembles they did at the beginning of the first film. And with the sky being awake, this looks like the night of the accident with Anna. There's still a lot we don't know about the king and queen of Arendelle, especially Anna and Elsa's mother so the sequel could be a good opportunity to delve into their backstories. Did Elsa inherit her powers from her? While flashbacks could work, Elsa being on a mission to cross the ocean has prompted many to think she's trying to rescue her parents, who may not have perished in a shipwreck after all. Number 2. Taking a page from Norse Myth the world of Frozen is heavily based on Norway, and it looks as though we may want to brush up on our Norse folklore before heading to the theater this November. The new trailer featured some beautifully animated elemental creatures such as a water horse, which according to Redditor Kitty Cat Omaniac, could be inspired by the Neck, a legendary spirit that changes form. There was also a giant rock monster, which could take the lead of the Norse Jotun, believed by some to be the fjords come to life, or one of the titans from Hercules. Okay, maybe not that last one, but we love a good crossover. Barring the idea that there's a person who can control each element, there may be a spirit representing them. A fire spirit is bouncing around wreaking havoc, while Elsa seems to have made friends with a snow spirit. Number 1. The Runes Olaf himself, Josh Gad, was very vocal about telling us to take a closer look at the teaser poster, which shows a snowflake-like design and four symbols. The rune shapes are back in this trailer, and it's Elsa who seems to be the one who created the ice diamonds Anna saw at her balcony. Right near the end of the trailer, the gang comes up to stone pillars with those very shapes yet again. Brave vibes, anyone? Theorists extraordinaire Super Carlin Brothers have zeroed in on these shapes, and concluded the four runes aren't elements or seasons as many believed. But the runes of isolation, ice, balance, or sacrifice, these sound familiar, don't they? And Rune of Giants, coming from a Norse book of magic, which may be the one the king had handy in the first movie. It looks like we're in for an origin story filled with magic and self-discovery, and we can't wait. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.